Hey, you down here? <clears throat> Kai back again with another live stream. Um, I'm going to go, uh, go back. Got itching eyes and face here. <clears throat> um, going to go back and do a little more work on the uh, bathroom uh, new uh, shower setup I got. I, uh, <clears throat> as you can, it, I'll show you here on the uh, on the diagram there. <clears throat> It shows you to put the tapered end on the uh, on the shot hand wand and then the hex nut on the diverter and uh, <coughs> some lights kind of you'll probably see that a little better now the hex nut goes on the diverter well I really just in uh, I saw you know I looked it over before I started and you can see the actual shower head if you look real closer at the, at the diverter you can see you can kind of tell that that's not the, the hex head up there uh, in the actual view of the installed setup there so I'm going to uh, go ahead and uh, swap that hose and uh, and, <coughs> and I had uh, I guess I, in my head I just copied you know without thinking I copied the other one and uh, then when I went to hang it up, it wouldn't hang up. That nut's too big for the little, uh, I'll get that out and show you here. Let's see. Uh, let me get, let me get over there. Let me swap mics and stuff and get over to the table. Okay. And now we should be on the wireless. <coughs> okay. Um, let me make sure all my, everything's working. I haven't, I got my, preview plan but I don't have the uh, but I didn't have I had the preview plan but I didn't have the sound I hadn't listened to it yet <coughs> okay so uh, let me swap my glasses too I'm gonna wear my I can see better I got some safety glasses that are fully magnified they look like bug eye glasses but they work good <laughs> they protect your eyes too but anyway they uh, they're a little bit stronger than the uh, ones I wear on the computer which actually turns out good because when I they work you know when I'm using my hand uh, <clears throat> looking straight at real stuff instead of the computer screen I can use that but um, so the uh, diverter <coughs> I mean the hanger it is to, I couldn't figure out whether I couldn't get the nut wouldn't fit in there at all and I wasn't thinking of trying to make you know hang it it is tapered. I don't know if you can really ever tell that, you know, by looking down at it or anything, but uh, you can tell it when you stick it on the uh, tapered end of the hose up there. And uh, <coughs> so uh, I'm going to put this back on there and swap the hose. And uh, it also has this little part that goes inside of it, so don't let me forget that. It goes over something in there and then the screw goes right down on there because the screw will go over, drop right through there <coughs> so uh, I'm just going to put this back in this little bag for now <coughs> and uh, oh yeah I don't have any other camera on the table and let's see I don't think I need any of the other stuff from in here all the other, rest of it's just the old parts I'm looking at my box you know um So take that, uh, a diagram I shouldn't need again for right now. Oh, there is one other thing I was going to show on it. There's, uh, there's also a, uh, if I can get that to where it, paper's going every which way. And here's the diverter. <coughs> and, uh. The diverter neck it says, then there is a flow regulator, and now I didn't. I, I took one shower with it so far, and it's okay. It will rinse your hair and all, but it doesn't have half as much power as the old one did. I really like it. it feels better, you know, to have more power, and it rinses your hair better and everything. <coughs> and uh, uh, and I remember reading in a comment before I bought this thing that somebody took that out, and I kind of had an idea what they were talking about, but then it's right here. And there's just the washer for, you know, the... <clears throat> that probably goes down on that diverter. That'll probably make it want to go 
up in there further. I made some Teflon tape. <clears throat> well, I can use this tape that came with it. I didn't. I used what I had. I either have to go out in the garage and get... <laughs> Where'd it go? There it is. I'll take that in there with me in case I need to add. You know, the Teflon tape, if it, got, if it gets damaged taking it off again, because I'm going to have to take it off again, then uh, I'll have what they supplied. <clears throat> okay, and uh, there's another washer in there, too. <coughs> Maybe that's what that washer went to. Maybe there's not an extra washer. Maybe it. Uh, maybe it went right there, <clears throat> but it doesn't leak. <laughs> so the tape took care of it. <clears throat> but um, anyway, um, I'm gonna do those two things. <clears throat> and. Uh, <clears throat> Got tools in there and everything. Camera's ready. So all I gotta do now is switch. Um, <clears throat> switch to the just that yeah, just that scene in there. And I think I'll check my audio one more time before I take off. And uh, <clears throat> got it a little bit straighter, I think, the view than today. I kept messing around with my mic stand. I have a, my camera that camera mounted on a mic microphone stand. It actually works pretty good. And the funny thing is, it's uh, the legs have been broken. I put them back on. It's got separate legs instead of a big heavy base. Instead of a big heavy base like <clears throat> a lot of them have. <coughs> and uh, anyway, two of the legs had broke off. Finally, I put them back on there with uh, has a aluminum. I can't. <clears throat> I'd have to remake the what holds them. They fold up. It's cast aluminum, and it's just really not made well. <clears throat> Radio Shack from the 70s or 80s, about the time they started getting stuff from China. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, we used to have a, on the side note, we used to have a Radio Shack manufacturing plant right here in Edsel, Texas, where I grew up and where I live. And uh, <clears throat> stayed up stayed up until the later 80s and then it closed down but it made real you know radio check electronics i don't know what all they made there tried to get them to hire me once but they didn't want to but i nobody wanted to hire you when you're late i worked at general dynamics for many years during those days and nobody wanted to hire you because you didn't they knew you'd go right back to gd because you make th twice as, two to three times as much money <clears throat> they didn't pay nothing i remember that <clears throat> But it was close to where I lived, so I thought it'd be interesting to learn about electronics. But that's the thing, I didn't have any experience in electronics either. But they hired women that, you know, that had no experience. I think the thing about women is, you know how, and this is not some sort of, it's just women have, well, they have smaller hands, so they can handle smaller things, generally. I mean, not all, all of them, especially not no country, some of these country girls out here, but... Um, a lot of times women have uh, patience with tedious things because they grew up learning, and back in those days, they grew up learning how to sew and um, <clears throat> do needlepoint and knit and crochet. And, you know, soldering is very tedious. I used to, well, I, learned how, I learned how to do it when I was a kid, taught myself, but I can't really do it now. My hand, well, my hands won't uh, hold still. I can't see nothing. But if you got good steady hands and you can hold small little things and you can see good, then you'd be good at soldering. My ex-wife actually, talking from actual experience, she ended up getting a job in an electronics assembly plant back when we were married. And they hired her with no, no work experience anywhere except for a couple of months here and a couple of months there in her whole life. So, you know, I'm not just making it up. I don't know why I'm talking about it even, but <clears throat> anyway. Uh, <clears throat> okay, let's see. <clears throat> stuff, stuff, stuff. Okay, let's go. Going off into the other room. Yeah, okay.
Okay, here we go, we're in the bathroom. <clears throat> so here's our, uh, <clears throat> let's try this stuff out, I just want to see. I noticed I wasn't doing very good aiming <clears throat> when I was holding stuff up in front of the camera yesterday. I was looking back at my video. I think I had it up a little higher yesterday than I do today. What was part of it, <clears throat> but... Uh, First, I want to get this. Let's just go ahead and take it apart from the. I guess I tightened it a little enough that I probably did. Yeah, it wasn't tight, it was just. Uh, water. Oh, and there's, there's my washer. Don't want to lose that. So, put it over there. Put this. There's water in there too. <clears throat> okay. Now this is gonna be hand tight for sure. Okay, now it's washer stayed in there pretty good. So uh don't know where to put it though. I think I'm gonna coil it up and put it in the sink. And Shut that <laughs> drain on that sink. Make sure I can. Now, what did I figure out on that drawing? What I didn't figure out is, does it go here, that the, that uh, the pressure deal, or does it go here for the whole thing? I think it goes up here. Yeah, I did. No. See, this one's female too, so it could be in here just for this one. It would make sense that they'd put it up here. So, <clears throat> yeah, that drawing really didn't tell me. So, if they're gonna try to, you know, meter the whole meter it, then I would think they would meter the whole thing. I guess what? Well, that is a little plastic wash lock washer. They call it. There. <clears throat> so back it off. Yeah, that's just. Pretty easy to get off once you <clears throat> back that off. That's helpful though. The other one actually had a swivel. Yep, there it is. Okay, let's get up here. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see it too good, but it's up in there. So, pretty hard to work up in the air like this, but I'll try it anyway. There's the washer, so I had one in there. Dropped it. Uh, it looks real thick. It's way thicker than the others. Now, I guess I can take this out of here. Let's find out. Oh, yeah, it falls out. There it is. The big side went... Uh, some of this down. <clears throat> I don't think it'll make a, this is, you know, the, okay, the big side for my own records in case I have to put it back, that's the side that goes out that you can see and then the smaller holes went in. Got metal in there too. Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> I'm taking it out because I think it's going to be much better now. Yeah, okay, now so I'll put this washer back in here. I don't think any damage really happened to the. Uh, let's get my little scooter over here again. <clears throat> Trying to make sure that it's flat down in there. Otherwise, when you. These rubber washer things, if you just let them be crooked, oop, but don't tear them up. If you let them be crooked, then uh, they'll usually don't straighten up on their own. Be, if you take something back apart, like a water hose or, or something like this, you'll see that they got, sometimes they'll they'll get bunched up and, and leak real bad. So it's best to get them flat as you can. Let's see. Yeah, that's all right. Now, you screw on further, that's obvious. 
I think it'll still be okay. I may have to end up taking this off of there, though. That uh, tape still looks real good. It only had one application to it, so I'm going to go ahead. I just, the only thing I wonder is, will it get tight enough now? Oops. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, see that kind of mess changes everything because now the threads kind of need to be longer. I don't think I'm afraid that'll leak. Yeah, that's too loose. But it did say <coughs> that if you uh, you don't have enough threads on your pipe, just don't use the lock washer. That was the instructions. So. Uh, I think I will give it another wrap of tape first because uh, uh, I won't be able to get it real tight. I mean, I, it won't be super tight now probably because, let's see if that's, I thought I saw some, uh, there's more light over here. Sorry, I'm going to have to do this off the view. I thought I saw a piece of, uh, Teflon tape down in there. I don't want to leave that in there. It'll clog things up. I don't see anything now. Okay. <clears throat> now. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get some of this stuff that they gave me. It's actually way better working over the sink if I drop something, as long as the stopper's closed. Dropping down in the floor, just dropping the sink. Okay, there we go. Now, where is this? The end of it. Where's the end of it? Boy, I don't want to come loose. Get up in here, and then I know you can kind of at least tell what I'm doing. I, I don't know if I'm, never know for sure if I'm at the, yeah. I'm trying to just, you know, turn it and catch the end of it with my thumbnail. But it ain't catching. I should have just went and got mine. At least it was ready to go. That's the, the one I, I finally caught something, but it's from the inside. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? Not the one on the outside. Be done. I'm not going to fool with it. Stuff like that makes me flat angry. Okay, uh, I'll just set it down here. I was going to put it back in the bag with those bags. Was, I'm going to run out in the garage and get it. Ah, can't fool it. I've already got the lights on out here. Should be able to hear me fine. It's a video that lags so bad you can't use it. Anyway, I've got the toolbox open, the lights on. All I need to do is grab it. <laughs> oh, let me get those scissors. So I won't have it tears okay, but it tears so I got some nice little scissors that cut it real good. It's easier to well at least, you know, those strings when you tear it. Well uh just hang out and look bad, nothing else. They won't really cause a problem. But, uh, uh, should have just went and got this to start with. I didn't think about it being hard to get off of there, really. Okay, we're back. Now, taking the uh, Cut a little bit of that off because where I stretch when you where I stretched it last time to to break it, it's you know a little ragged. I probably never hit that. There's a trash can over there. I'm trying to hit. Okay, now try this again. Yeah, this stuff works best if you stretch it on. First, you got to get it started. 
not too much, or you'll just tear it. And then when you get ready to tear it, stretch it till it breaks. That'll make it stay long enough for you to, for you to get to the part on there. I just tried to lean over to the sink. <laughs> I knew I'd fall. This, uh, I got that rubber bathtub mat in there, but it'll give on you. It'll, I can't use it to take a shower because it'll move around on the It's worse than the slippery tub. But I didn't want to stand in water. And, uh, if I drop something, it won't make so much noise. This may not work out the way I'd hoped. We'll see. Thing is, it, oh, it's got to be just like that. Yeah, I won't be able to go far enough, see. That's just the thing I didn't like before about that other one. Okay, you know that extra washer that I got? Got a little bit of. I came out there. Now I'm thinking about putting that extra washer in here. If it's big enough. What I'm trying to decide is should I put it in on top of this one or uh, first before. I guess it really doesn't make any difference. It's either going to work or it ain't. I don't think it'll make it leak. Kind of think that it, since it's not quite as yeah, it'll be fine. Okay, so I'm going to put it in there. I think that'll add just enough thickness. It may be, it may not work at all that way. It's too, it may be too much. I may not get enough threads now. And all I can do is try it and see. Because really, the further you know, pipe threads are tapered. The further you go, the tighter they get to the object. Of course, this plastic, I'm sure, is not uh, tapered as accurately as a piece of pipe would be. A collar, you know. So let's just see what happens. Nope, that's even worse. Because it'd have to stop right there. I think what I need is just a thin washer, lock washer that's not so thick like that. What happened to the other one? Oh, it's up there. I went and pulled this one out, and I was like, well, where is the other one? Did it fall? Sometimes I don't know what happened, and I'll see it back later in the video. Uh, for a minute, I thought they were stuck together, and then I thought, no, that's just the first original one. Let's see. It's not stuck on the pipe, and that's just one. Okay, where did it go? Okay. I don't want to lose it. It's not anywhere to be seen. Oh, yeah, that's what I was figuring. You better find it. So it wasn't a good idea at all. Don't try that at home for kids. Ooh. And guess what? That was actually one of those happy accidents. Okay, here's the new one. Here's the old original piece of one, half of one, that was up in there and I never realized it. It had uh, just, it had just, uh, you know, kind of cut, it's been cut in half by the pipe. See if there's anything else up in there. Nope. Oh, good. That would help uh, get in, end up getting sideways and clogging things up. Okay, let's put our lock washer back on there. Yeah, so this thing has got some thickness to that little one thread there. And if it wasn't quite so <clears throat> thick, I'm going to put it back on there like it belongs and see if I can 
Get it on there. Oh, let's see. Well, that other washer doesn't work, so I ain't putting it back on there. Now, if I can get it. See, it needs to seat up against that rubber washer is the thing. Oh, maybe it is seated up. Uh, I don't think it'll go. That's, <laughs> I guess you could hang it the other way. No, it'd be upside down for that. It don't work. I'm going to try like that. If it don't leak, it'll be all right. Because it's, it can feel it. I don't think it's enough. If it doesn't leak, it'll be all right. Let's see. I don't want to get all these hoses back on there again and have it. <clears throat> well, I wonder how the uh, person who did that got this to work. Let's see. Wait. I don't want to do that. There. And that's really about the place where it needs to be as far as being tight. Right there is where it has to be for the end. Uh, see, that'll hold it. Whoops. No, it won't. And I don't believe that I can think of any kind of, still doesn't hold it. See, that was the thing I didn't like about the other one. It would do that. Move. Can't really get it tight like that. So it's really got to be up against that <coughs> washer. <coughs> I'm take this off one more time. Do the tightening on these rubber washers, you'll just cut them up like that one that was in there. Yeah, there's no way I can make it all the way around to there. I mean, I could try putting that other one in here first. It definitely wouldn't fall through. So if I put the small one, I started to try that at the beginning. So if I put the smaller one in here first, it falls right in. The other one is thicker and it fits tighter. So it's really just a spacer, this one is. Yeah. Want to put a little more Teflon on there? No, now you won't need it really. Okay, if it works, if it lines, if it end up lining up. Yeah, actually, that other one went right up in the hole, so it wasn't doing what I intended anyway. This is way too loose. Uh, unless I have a regular, like really thin washer, real washer, one of that size, a thin one especially. Well, maybe I can use with the extra. Maybe I can use a lock washer and the extra rubber seal washer. I get more, I'll put it on there. I've been on and off of here so many times now, I might need to. Guess I will this time. Just to get into. Oops, I have to start peeling some off and start over. I 
think I'll just give it one more wrap. It, it's that plastic pipe is not anywhere near tightening up on this thing. So it's not going to hurt to. Stretched out a bit. Okay. You don't want to put too much of this stuff, but I would do it again. One more. Okay. Using that stuff up pretty fast. Okay, so it doesn't actually matter which one you put in first when you do two of them, one of them, and tighten it too much like I did, trying to make it work, it shoves it up in there. So, put that string off of there, and it may be that, oh, I see, I noticed I had another rubber washer, I was like, where is that from? That's from the hose. So the uh, thick one, it was up in there this time. So either one of them is going to do that. Yeah, I think it's still better to put that one in the bottom. But don't, I guess over tying it is a very bad idea. So maybe if I get enough. Uh, Teflon tape on there, <coughs> it will, uh, I can use the lock washer, Te enough Teflon tape to keep it from leaking without having to screw it down. It's funny how it works so good the first time, I mean it worked fine. That piece in there, I may have to keep up and put that piece back in there, that uh, the burner makes the distance right for it to land in the right place. I'm sure there was some engineering going that went into figuring that out. Okay. I don't think it could yeah if you just keep tightening then I don't know, can I go another turn? Yeah. I don't know if those rubber washers are going all the way up in there now or you know every time I do that or what. I'm going to tighten it up and see if that will work. It's not, not as good as it was the first time, and that's what I don't like. It's a little nut, ain't it? It's just plastic, so I don't want to overdo it. Okay, got it. Yeah. Okay, now it's, well, it can be moved, but it, I don't want, I, break that plastic. I feel like that's about all it can take where I'm at. If you break enough stuff, you get a feel for that sort of thing. Yeah, well, but I don't know if it's going to be uh, leaking or not. That's the thing. Well, I want this off of here no matter what, so let's get this off. And actually, it's pretty darn easy to get this one on and off, so I'll just put it all back together. Because I don't, this valve, I don't know which one is the one to make only this one go, and I don't want water pouring out of that back one. So, let's go ahead and get this switched out. And if it leaks up in here, I'll have to go back to the original configuration, whether I like it or not. I mean, I guess you could get really serious about it and make a spacer out of it. 
piece of copper pipe or something or whatever for that but plastic PV I don't have any uh, if I, I have PVC some pieces out there but I don't know that I have anything that would be uh, yeah this is the one that it came with it was on my old original one my peerless one and it wouldn't uh, set in there and I, I took I made well I made me a rotary spinning a roll ups a, a, a an old sanding belt around a bolt and put it in my drill. Made it into a sanding disc or barrel sander, I guess you'd call it. Anyway, I worked and it didn't come off very fast, but it did work. And uh, <clears throat> it made that fit, but it, it was so big that the uh, that the nut would fit up in there, you know. I don't remember why I was doing it. See, that was the whole reason I could see the nut will fit in there. And it works great. But uh, I don't know why I wasn't doing it like that, though, now. But, uh, yeah, that fell. Luckily, I guess it's lucky it landed in a trash can room, because even though it's dirty, there. Better than in the floor beside the toilet, I think. Okay, so this one got its little washer in it. Put it on in there. Let's see. Oh, I wasn't ready to put that on yet. Let's don't do it till we're ready. I was just talking about it all. Just back in the sink for a minute. Try not to lose the washer this time. Yeah, okay. Uh, where's the part that I want? Here it is. Now this is the new one. <clears throat> and it's gonna go on there this time. And I will put the old one in this little bag with the screw that went with the old one. I had to use the shorter screw. The one with the old one had a long screw. The new one has a short screw. So yeah, this little piece here, it, it's hex shaped on one side, so it goes up over that. So I'll put it up, up over this stub here. And then uh, this goes on there. Now I gotta make sure I know which way it goes. Yeah, like that it goes. Like that it barely fits. That right there could be why some people say it didn't didn't work good. They might have put that on upside down. See that fits in there pretty good. Just make sure you keep it keep track of it. Or you'll be doing it again. How does this all go together? Oh, that thing has to go afterwards. Has to go in here. Then I'm going to put the screw in there. Get the screwdriver on it. Try to do it that way. I'm not sure exactly where I want it to. Well, I know that you can loosen it and tighten it to adjust it. So it should be all right. You got to get it too tight until you figure out where you want that thing. See, I'll have to take this hose off of here again if it doesn't work good. If it leaks. Okay. Now, 
got another washer here. And we got this water still in it. I guess that's another thing about this. You might want to hold it in the general direction that you want this to set. Let me tighten it up. There. Yeah, I knew I would want to aim that a little more. There. Now, I think that's built right. Let's hang that down. Try to hold that in place while I tighten it. Because I want it to be pretty well stay in there. It's pretty hard to find that spot. Can't see it. Just got a feel for it. There. Okay. Yeah, that stays in there okay. I think it actually might have stayed in there a little better with the old one that I had when I had it in there backwards. <laughs> but I think it'll be all right. It's not a super long hose, but I think it'll do all right. Yeah, because if you were sitting back here, you can't see me probably, but yeah, you could be sitting all the way pretty much to the back of the tub on a stool. And that's the whole plan. And see, you can turn this one on and off right here. I just leave it in double mode and then turn this one on and off at its thing. Now let's see what happens when we... I never did. I thought I changed into my working glasses. I never did. I guess I even said, announced it that I was going to do it. Let's, oh well, I did all right. Yeah, I meant to put on those safety glasses. I had them sitting there. I was trying not to get my glasses and face all drenched this time. I did last time. Okay. Well, we're good. We're not leaking back there. That works. Of course, I won't know how much difference there is in the pressure until I actually take a bath. So let me rinse that thing off. I saw a leaf in the floor, and I saw something that resembled a leaf on the, uh, the uh, thing just now, the pink thing, floor mat, bathtub mat. Now, I got something else I need to do. I don't know if I want to... My toothbrush holder, just yesterday, I didn't have no idea there was anything going wrong with it. It was, uh, came off. It was just glued on, you know, to the back of the sink over there. I showed it in the other video. It just, I was showing the cabinets, but. Uh, it just came off. So I decided to uh, put my parts in here where my tools are. I decided to uh, soak it in that CLR. because it had started already getting calci uh, calcium, calcium, not calcium, uh, whatever that stuff is, the water puts out deposits on it. It's not even, I don't know, maybe it's a year old now. I don't really know. 
but uh, the uh, I think I'll leave this where it is and just aim down. Yeah, I'll probably do. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, now, and this loss is sticky. I have two pieces here. Well, it came with two strips, and one of them touched, and the other one, it's tall. At the height that it was, it, it wasn't touching anything up here. So this is some I had, but it's, there's no sticky left on there. It's not going to work again. I wondered if it would at all, but it won't. So, uh, <clears throat> okay, I'm going to spray that with bleach cleaner. Now, I've sprayed it with bleach cleaner, and I just spray it down and... I'll just do that corner right now. And uh, and it's never made it come loose before. But it's, I don't know if it's just time got to it, you know, like the water and stuff in here. I'll make sure it's good and clean and have to give it a chance to dry while I, you know, First, I'm gonna, I, I think I'm going to have to get something and scrape those off. Either that or, well, you could probably heat them up with a hairdryer, but that's loud. And this is the middle of the night, so. I've been up in the middle of the night a lot lately, so I'm working in the middle of the night. Get that bleach off my hands before it really eats them up. I didn't bring a scraper, I didn't, I forgot that part. Utility knife might be better. Blade's not really long enough, but I guess I have to get a putty knife. I forgot to look and see if I have uh, any more of that sticky stuff too. I meant to do that ahead of time. So, uh, you know, this camera that I'm using is on a stick. I can carry it around. I think I'm going to use it. I have the other one in yonder, but it's actually it's on a tripod in there. I can carry it around, fold up the legs, but it's a little harder to handle. So I think I'm just going to leave that set like it is, and I can unplug it. for. A, I can get about 10, 15 minutes out of it, maybe 20. But see, there's the stick that it's on. I showed these before. I actually bought that, and it actually matches my custom-made cabinets that I made. Well, I made them about 20, 25 years ago, and then I redid them a couple of years ago now. Completely had to rebuild that vanity because the water ruined it. It got down. I didn't have a splash on this side, and the water got down between the cabinets and ruined that whole side. Well, and it kind of messed up this one quite a, quite a bit. That's, and this covers it. <laughs> this splash here covers it. But let's go get my uh, make sure nobody's out here. They won't, probably won't want to be in my video. Now the video will be bad once I get in the garage. I mean, it'll be way out of sync. My wife, I don't reach good out here this is where it'll probably get real bad but oh well let's see uh, I don't have a lot of light on out here but this is all I really need where's that utility I'll get that too put these in my pocket so I won't drop them okay and I thought it was my, my uh, video playing. I thought, did I leave my preview on? But it was uh, a printer. <laughs> Mom's printing something. But anyway, this is it up close. And uh, let's try to get some water in there. Here's 
where the lock washer is. And it's pretty sturdy. I think it'll be fine for. I think it'll be fine because these are real easy to turn. These little on and off things. Of course, this is the one that would maybe make it twist or something. So uh, this is where I got to clean that off. Those sticky things. And I'll worry about, I mean, they're no good. They're not useful, so there's no point in thinking I could save them or anything. <clears throat> if I need more light, that might be better. Oh, let's plug this thing back in so it won't run down. There we go. Oh, it made my screen brighter. <laughs> I didn't realize my screen was fooling me. It had dimmed because it was on battery. So this one's a little sharper. There's a utility knife, and this one is not as wide, so let's try it first. I don't want to scratch the sink is a thing. And you can, real easy. So as it's not all coming off, I knew it wouldn't. But I guess that's the only thing I could really do. That stuff won't stick as good to what's left behind there. You know what, I, I should get some, I got some denatured alcohol in the garage. Oops. Yeah, that would probably finish taking that off of there. I got some uh, acetone, it would, but it's also really strong stuff. So I'm going to go get the denatured alcohol and see <clears throat> if it'll take it off. Let's see. If I leave stuff in my little tool pouch, they just rattle and fall out when I bend over and when I get squat down or something. Okay, well, we'll do this all again. I used to just leaving it looking at the sink, I don't guess. Back to the garage. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Bad video again. But I'm not going to waste time trying to make, you know, I'm just going to hurry. <laughs> you need to lock it home out in here somewhere. I may want to get some gloves. I got some right there. That's acetone. All right. Don't know which one will work. I don't know if you can see those. but Instead of having to make another two more trips, get me some gloves and both cans. And I better grab some paper towels on my way back too. It's not a big roll, so take the whole thing. <clears throat> Getting hot in this room. Well, these lights make it hot in here in this bathroom. So, I've never made use of this uh, detachable part, you know, this. It's like a selfie stick. <laughs> Just a, it's a stick, literally. Well, it's a turned piece of wood that was my on my clothes tree. And it's in the garage. One of the leg, one of the leg broke, and it won't stand up on its own anymore. And I haven't fixed that yet either. So uh, I decided to use part of it for this because it's the only thing I could find in a hurry to make a foam handle. Okay, let's see. Can I put this, put it over there? I don't want that paper getting, that toilet, getting all dirty. Paper towel, not toilet paper. Let's see. First, we'll try the less stinky of the two. 
Oh, that's acetone. That stuff will just nearly knock you out outside. So we'll get the uh, denatured alcohol. That just smells like alcohol. It's not so bad. Shut that up again. Let's see if it'll work. It ain't phasing it. Where is that? I guess it'd be good for, uh, you know, wipe it down to make it dry. <laughs> I might use it for that in a minute. I think yes. Put this one down here. <coughs> Get the other one out. I'll make use of the exhaust fan. I hate it. It's going to be too too much strong of fumes not to use it. I mean, I turn it on when I'm taking a bath and stuff at night for probably 30 or 40 minutes, so I guess it's not that big a deal. Stuff still on. Act like it wants to let go. I think this will probably cut it, but maybe not super fast. Yeah, so if you're going to use acetone, use it in your bathroom and turn on the vent. Or outside with the wind blowing. Let's see if that helps. Not really. Well, a little bit, I think. I can't believe that stuff is that tough. It's been a long time since I had to try to take one of these things off. I forgot how, forgot how hard they are to get off. Well, I don't think I'm going to get it all off. Because I don't want to scratch up my sink. Try one more time. I'm going to shut this thing. It's just going to let out fumes. Nothing else, at least I know it'll be real clean there where I'm, when I stick my new piece on there. Okay. Now, I think I'll throw away this acetone ring outside as I go get let's go I am going to leave that fan on every time I go by the living room I see my mom's pink thing, whatever it is, house coat or blanket. Now what do I need? And I think it's her sitting there. I almost went and folded it up all ago just for it to quit bugging me, but I didn't do it. Okay. Uh, I absolutely forgot what it was I wanted. Those sticky pads, I have. if I have any, they're going to be in my room. Okay. Guess I should get these glasses off, and, uh, gloves off now. Can't 
see it, can you? Pink thing in the dark. It's freaky. Makes you think there's a ghost in the room. <laughs> well, I saw some YouTube video that was about a girl having a ghost while she was playing games or something. It was a picture just, just before I started doing this. <laughs> it's not my fault. All right, now, I think I'll turn this off now so it won't be so... Won't be so much noise. Yep, that was my control center for my OBS studio. My little pouch that I keep my wireless camera in for the sound is sagging. I'm usually just sitting down when I'm doing this. Okay. You know what that is? That's a, I think it's an air, I don't know if it's. I call it the airplane barf bag. Um, it hasn't been used. I saved it. Now it's, and it's been doing, giving me trouble getting in and out of that drawer for I don't know how long. Now. Okay. Uh, here they are, and I don't think I got any left. You think uh, a glue stick would hold that? Not for long. I know one thing: alcohol <laughs> dissolves glue sticks. Super glue, I wouldn't really want to put super glue on my my nice new sink. So let me get this out and make sure that it's not I got one in there that'll work. Let's see. Then I can put this one down. Well actually I can I'll go to the endoscope then. I need a drink. But in there, there's some Velcro in there. Maybe that's the wrong bag. I think it had both in there. <clears throat> Let's go to the endoscope. Check it out. Whatever's in there. <clears throat> okay, there's one more piece. And then there's some, oh, no, that's Velcro. I mean, you could do that. That's not, not the worst idea in the world if this was good Velcro. It's old pieces. I don't think they would stick, but, you know, you could take it off and clean and then put it back. It never occurred to me to do something like that. This is just a really old, crappy piece. It's the kind that you, I think it, you have to sew it on anyway. Yeah, it wasn't ever the kind that stuck on, I don't think. I'm not really sure. Anyway, I don't want that. That would, that would hold all kinds of uh, germs and bacteria, I think, in the bathroom like that. Uh, let's see. What's that? Oh, that's already been used, really. Oh, that's Velcro. I don't, I guess I thought, that's those pads that you, they've been used too, but you stick them, you could always glue them, but, ah, I want to get some silicone. If I've got enough, oh yeah, that thing is out there soaking, I have to get it and clean it up. If I have even enough of this to, uh, I can cut it in fours if I need to, and then put uh, silicone to, you know, this will hold it while the silicone dries. So I'm going to take this, and that's what I'm going to use. I probably will cut it into fours. That's the last piece I got. That's pretty good stuff. Okay. Um, where's my camera? Let's see. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Let's get back in there. This is... Taking much longer than the other work. <laughs> That's what happened to me last night. I was up till noon yesterday, up all night and up till noon, uh, cleaning and messing around, lining it up. Uh, let's see where I want to put this. Put that over there. <clears throat> okay, that's where I got stuff sitting. 
Uh, just leave everything where it is for now. Okay, let's go back and get that. Where's my gloves? Let's hang this back up for now. <coughs> Put those gloves back on. Um, yeah, it was up till noon. I, I ended up cleaning and, and changing out the... Uh, I was talking about it, and I ended up doing it. Uh, the um, faucet, kitchen faucet. I'll show it on the way out. But I was able to use that uh, CLR to clean all the cal uh, calcium. No, 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 what is it? Can't believe I can't remember the name of this stuff. Uh, that got pink thing. I'm at it with this thing. It's a blanket. It's all laid out and it looks like a whole person. Okay. Every time I see it, it startles me. I think somebody's there. Okay, so anyway, uh, and I don't want to be talking, making videos, you know. I'm not scared. No ghost. Okay, this is the one I put on there, the adjustable one. But it was all full of uh, calcium. No. Whatever those deposits that you get from water. But anyway, it, it puts out two, at least twice as much water as the one that was on there. But I also figured out, I took out the, uh, the one that uh, was on there. It had a restrictor in it like the one I just took out of there. And it's it's in that cabinet now over there. But anyway, uh, I took the restrictor out, restrictor out first while I was soaking that thing. Okay, here's my... Here's my little deal. Soaking. It should be pretty clean by now. Easy to clean, I mean. Let's try not to shake that up onto the uh, camera. Yeah, I thought that was a good place to have that. Did I? No, okay, good. Let's see, this is gonna drip. It should just come off real easy. And see, here's the original one. That's the only one that was holding anything. It, it, it's ruined. That's the one that not got used at all. But I don't think it'll come off of there. Now I saw how hard that other one was to come off of there. I didn't try to scrape it off. I figured if that CLR makes it fall off, okay, man, that'd be good. <laughs> but uh, I think it's still dripping now, pretty much. I really want a paper towel to set it on. I think I have one. Yes, I do. That's cardboard there, so I guess that'll be all right for a minute. Here we go. I wanted a paper towel to set it on once I get in the for a minute. Oh, I need scotch. That's why I needed a paper towel to set it on. I need to get my piece of scotch bright. That's all I really need. I started to get a toothbrush, but oh, it might be good. Get it. This stuff gets so soft when you soak it that a toothbrush will pretty much do the cleaning job for the most part. Where is it? The one that I used yesterday. There it is. Okay. Scotch Brite that I was using is over here. I'm going to lay that on the washer. Okay. Okay, now I can go in. I was thinking I was going to have to do that cleaning in the kitchen sink where I did last night. And I remembered there's a sink right here. It's probably just as good for this sort of thing. Okay. 
gloves are getting kind of sticky. I think that CLR is stronger than you realize. There we go. Okay. Start cleaning. Yeah, this kind of turned into cal not calcium, but it's all gone. All the uh, whatever those deposits are, they, it turned into white, milky-looking stuff, and they went away. That was already beginning to rust. Yeah, I figured the toothbrush would go up under there. That's a pretty neat design. See, that's a piece of stainless steel that was folded on a brake machine. I used to work in the sheet metal as a tool maker in the sheet metal department from General Dynamics. So I got to see a lot of tools. But anyway, the sheet metal forming tool would, a brake would bend that. We had a brake in our shop. And then a stamp machine would stamp those holes out. Of course, it was for F-16s and, and uh, F-111s, not toothbrush holders. We didn't make no stinking toothbrush holders. But, uh, thing needed a good cleaning anyway, didn't it? It was beginning to get pretty crappy right there where that glue well, was staying, the glue spot was staying wet. That has still got the 3M paper on it from its original. I may not use scratch right on it. It'll just probably scratch the finish. You definitely want it clean though. You don't want that seal oil on your toothbrush. That's not the toothbrush I use. <laughs> now that's kind of rough. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's the one that I used to hold it and carry it. I think I will uh, get that rust off of there. I really had meant the, the edges of that are pretty sharp. I really had meant to deburr it. Yeah, that's coming off now. I think it still won't do me no good because they won't. I don't think there's any stick of them left on it now anyway. But, uh, this one really needs to come off, I think. Well, maybe not. I guess it can serve as a... spacer keep it from rocking. Let's see. I gotta get it. Of course I would like to get get it off because of the black. It's probably mold is what I'm thinking that is. It's not actual mold and it's definitely a sign of water damaging it, you know. Anyway that scotch brush not gonna stop that from being sharp, but it will Some of that white whiteness from the CLR is still in the side of there. If I can scrub it off. Getting too hot. Okay, let's hit it with the T 
toothbrush again. I, I probably didn't hit every surface inside of there because I couldn't see it. But boy, I'll tell you what. And when it comes to stuff like this, <coughs> I see a lot. Fantastic. I probably soaked it <coughs> for an hour and a half. It doesn't. They tell you don't soak, <coughs> soak stuff in or two minutes. Well, it ain't gonna do it in two minutes. I also wrapped, uh, put some in a, on a paper, on some, soaked some paper towels in it, and wrapped it around the bottom of the kitchen faucet. One of them I did longer, and it. Uh, so I didn't, you know, I was just kind of not thinking about it. I was just doing it as I went. And, uh, anyway, the one that I did 10 or 15 minutes, it cleaned it pretty. I still had to scrub at it real hard. I wouldn't have if I'd left it an hour or two. Uh, of course, then it probably dried up by then. But uh, the other side didn't clean up. This one doesn't have that yet. It hasn't got that bad yet. But uh, this is all pretty new stuff here. Okay, let's see. Close that so that if I drop anything important, it won't. I think it's best to get this one off. Yeah. That CLR did make it want to let go. Look at that. I should have tried that already. I don't know if you can see that good or not, but it came off. So that'll take it off. You let it soak for long enough anyway. And that's with gloves on, so. Yeah, it, it kind of broke the bond of that sticky old glue. If you've ever tried to take it off anything like that up there, well, we just we just showed acetone and denatured alcohol don't cut it quick. Let's see if this one comes off good. Yeah, maybe. Oh, it's got another piece of paper on it. It's kind of sticky there. So my piece of paper, I think it's time to take off the gloves so it can work. I need to rinse my hands anyway. Whoops. One glove hit the dirty floor. That's always great. I'll have to rinse them if I have to put them back on. But I want to, yeah, that's still really sticky, but it won't hit nothing. <laughs> you can't see it right now, but that would work. But it ain't gonna do me no good like that, I don't think. Dang it. If I could get that off there, well, you're not gonna really use it. Now, that's why it had no sticky, is because the tape had ripped itself in half. Yeah, that don't come off of that side so good. But if I could take it off and put it back on. I need to. I can feel my arms itching. I'm sure I got that stuff up here on my arms. That stuff is bad on my skin. Real bad. Real fast. So, uh, yeah, I know that water's not actually good for that sticky to make it re re reusable again, but. I don't think it is going to be anyway, but it actually won't ruin it completely if you dry it off before you use it. And I do have the alcohol that I could do that with. That's what I was thinking. So, uh, kind of taking this as I go. <laughs> I'm falling back on my many years of experience of multiple disciplines of doing junk. Okay, the stainless does do pretty darn good. Oh, there's a couple of spots that don't work so great. Just when I think it's all clean, dry it off and then get it dirty again. Okay, let's see. All right, it's gonna be all right. It's way, way better than it was. I think this. I think it's not perfect, but it's better than it was by far. Okay, now. Now this. Let's go ahead and get up here about where it's going to be going. See, that is not going to touch anything. So it, I didn't try to rip it off because I knew how hard it was to get off. Yeah, it's just coming off the pieces. But now that it's got sticky hanging out there, 
I didn't even peel the tape off before. I think it's best to just leave it as it is. I think. I mean, it will peel one a little bit at a time, but it's not really helping. Kind of see if this one will tear away from the edge just so you can't see it when you. See, that's why I left it. One of the reasons why I left it as it was, because it looked better straight than crooked if you saw, if you did get a look at it there from this side. You can't really see it when it's up there. But, uh, okay, uh, I think I'm going to hit, oh, let's go get the, uh, let's hit it with alcohol to help dry it and then go get the, uh, Um, where's my screwdriver? It's in my pocket. I gotta go get the uh, caulking gun. I think my camera bag may need. Uh, maybe it'll be alright. It's, it's loose, it's falling off. Okay, let's see. Now this is not the worst, so I'm not going to put those wet gloves back on. Let's do that. Hopefully that'll kind of make the water go, go away and dry. Also, I had uh, wiped it down over here with acetone, so I want to kind of make sure I get that off of there. I don't know how bad it'll the uh, finish. I actually learned how to how to apply gel coat. This one up here was old a scrap piece I had left over that guy gave, gave me. Guy I used to know. He got it from a new construction site. Scrap pieces and uh, that they'd cut off. Anyway, they had been in the garage so long they got yellow. So I bought some. Uh, Gel coat, learn how to do it. I have, I have an air compressor and a spray gun, you know. But no. I didn't, ended up doing it. Test, test, don't try brushing it. I tried that first. It don't work just like they tell you. And, uh, Test it on something. I did have enough forethought to test it on another piece and it did not go well. I tried to brush it first. And that never actually dried. The spray I did looked better, but that thing didn't dry after a year. You got to get the mix right. You can't be too cold. It can't be too hot. It actually kind of easy, once you get it mixed and, and everything going for you, it's kind of in a way better than painting. Easier because you don't got to sand it. You really can't sand it. It's too hard to sand. I mean, you can, but. I don't want to. <clears throat> okay, so, um, yeah, that's beginning to dry. That could be very useful. It's starting to work again. Perfect. It, only thing is, it ain't going to touch nothing. So if I had a way to get, if I could get it off of there and back down here, it'd be perfect. But it ain't coming off without just destroying it. So that, I won't put another, I'll put them. I'm going to do this. Where's that other piece? I'll cut it in fours. Put one here, one here, and probably one there and one there. And then, uh, then and I'll put, uh, that'll actually help. What you call it? Stick. And I'll put some, probably, I don't want, see that one on the bottom was a barrier to hold that water, the one going across like that. So I'm going to make sure there's passageways for the water. <clears throat> Not a shelf for it to stand on. Okay, so uh, yeah, let me cut those now. Get them ready. Let's see. This is actually somehow, for some reason, it's like that. So I guess I'll go over here. Shoot that again. 
so that if I do drop something, it won't be lost down in the drain. That's a terrible when you drop something in that drain. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> Let's go back and get the caulking gun. How do I need gloves? <clears throat> you can't use that sticky stuff with the gloves on. That sticky tape stuff. Try, try not to be loud because <clears throat> don't wake anybody up. Me and Mom are up, but we're not everybody. Let's get this. Uh, need one of those to replace the one I. Trying to find the. Uh, usually try to do that with one hand, but you can if you have to. Yeah, that's the good uh, paper towel holder. I was talking about the one that's in my room. That, okay, now what do I want? Caulking. See, I got stuff pretty much ready to go. Silicone caulking white. That ought to be good. I don't even think we have any clear anyway. What is this one here? That's a brand new white. Yeah. It's acrylic latex. I think that one is, that's actually 100% silicone. That's what I really want. That'll, if you're gonna try to glue something, that'll do you, be your best bet. Um, I can't, I wanted to put it into the gun, but I can't drop it. <clears throat> can't do it with this other handful. Oh, let's see. Well, let's just go get my pliers. That's what I always use to get that cap off with. That's all I think I need from here, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> it's nice outside. It's hot in the house. Can't tell what I'm aiming at that guy there. Okay. <clears throat> Probably, since that's closed up safely, it's, pr it's probably dried out. Use this paper towel, it has a little alcohol in it. I'm trying not to bother with my. Yeah, it was dried down in there. Now you gotta wipe that off your screwdriver, or else it won't come off later. It will end up all over me. Okay. Um, I mean, I may have to fix these. My little bag. I gotta readjust this thing. It's not. It won't stay up. A little bag that holds my camera. There we go. It must have kind of came loose over time. Well, I normally just sit, so probably that. Maybe that's good enough. Boy, it's hard to adjust. I don't think it came loose. I think it's just that I've never been running around with it on. There. Now I've got the mic on my shirt, so it's kind of tricky to not get everything all twisted up. There. Now it's probably too tight. But I'm going to leave it. Should I? Now it'll help pull my pants up. There. 
There we go. Okay, where do we get it? Okay. This is way longer than the other work. But it has to be done. You can't go without your... Oh, that's another uh, brand new glove. Let's see. Which finger, which hand would I want it on? Right hand. That way I can wipe caulk if I need to. <clears throat> okay, so first let's get those stickums on there. Let's see. Ah, now we'll put this uh, thing to some use. That's, uh, is that the working area? Okay, now. Dang it. Dropping everything. Okay, one side you want to take off first, and the other you leave it till you're ready to stick it up there. It's hard to do. Very hard. Just get one corner loose, and it'll be all right. Okay, there's one. Should put the bigger ones on that side, I think. I don't know, it doesn't matter. I'll put a big one and a little one on the bottom and a big one and a little one on the top. Oops. The alcohol did dry it really nicely. Okay. Let's see now. Where do we want to? I have a pen in my pocket. Let's see if I can mark with that. Because I want to get below those. I don't think it'll mark that good. I did just enough. Yeah, because it, I'm gonna put silicone up there. So. Marked on the edge, but nowhere else. Well, that's all right. I'll be able to see it. Preview, so I'm just kind of doing my best there. That's a lot lower than I really want it to be, but well, the silicone should hold, so yeah, let's go ahead and do it that way. That little piece was about ready to come off. Rub them good, it'll stick better. Okay, now I can kind of eyeball where that other one should go. It's been on here a pretty good while. I was really surprised how well it worked to start with, uh, using these sticky things, because of the water at the sink, you know. So much water there. That's all I got, so 
There's no adding no more or adding or taking away or anything. So, all right, <coughs> let's see if we can get some of this stuff to come out here. Uh, let's put some on the paper towel first. Oh yeah, a whole lot. Wee, that came out way better than I thought it would. But this is what I'm gonna do here. Cause I think that'll do me more good. Oh yeah, and then I'm gonna do like this. Now I don't want the water to stay down there. I want it to drain, so I'm not gonna put. That's it. That's what I hope will help help hold it once it dries. Oh, hmm. Let's see. That extra that I just about didn't like the idea of wasting. I wonder if I can make that go on there. Where, uh, where I'm kind of not have as much as I thought I did. There we go. That ought to work. It's not got to be pretty. We're not caulking the sink or just gluing. So. Okay. This thing is kind of slippery. It's not all my fault. We'll go with that. Okay, let's see. There's one. I'm trying to put them up on the ledge of this thing, not down in this thing, because I'll forget and turn on the water probably. Put them in there. not coming off as good as the other, there we go, as good as the other ones do. By the way, if you do pull it up a little bit, you can still use those things to press it down again. Hopefully, if I get this corner, it'll go all the way across that one that's kind of cut and get it all. Let's see. Didn't get it. Go to the corner. Sticks to the knock blade. Well, that piece is just. It doesn't stick good. Oh, it's got paper on it. No wonder. I didn't realize that it hadn't been peeled. You know what it just did, don't you? Well, let's leave it off. It was uh, folded over and it was about to cause a real problem. That's fine. Oh. Paper still on it. Doggone it, come up there. That one little corner piece stayed on there. Okay. All right, here we go. God. Now these, of course, don't touch anything, and the paper just came off because I soaked it in the... Got to leave enough room so I can re-caulk that. So... Yeah, that's it. Get to it very good up there. Probably don't want to turn it, push on it the wrong way anyway. There we go. I see just a little bit of caulk sticking out. I'm going to let it dry and cut it off later. Uh, normally, if I was caulking, I would get me a wet paper towel and uh, wipe it off, but that will make it not stick as good. So, yeah, I'll let it dry and I'll just get my knife and cut it later. Because if I start messing with it, it's going to get all over the surface of that. And I won't like that. 
try to get something that'll go up there to those other ones. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna leave the toothbrushes out because they really get hung on there on the way out and they're liable to yank it off of there. I'll leave them out until it's dry tomorrow. <clears throat> I'll just put them over here, I guess. Until it dries. All right. Uh, I think we're actually getting somewhere towards done. sticky came off when it landed with the sticky down on the sink. I'm going to see if I can get it off of the scotch brush. It peeled, it kind of broke, peeled a little bit of the stay and the rest came off when I try to pick it up. Let's see if I can show you my dilemma here. Where's my, can't see, there we go. See what this this particular blue scotch brack does? There we go. By the way, the scotch brack can clean when you're not too bad a shape on your sink. If you've got deposits on there, you can you scrub them right off with scotch brack. Just don't do it too much because you keep doing it and don't do it too often. You'll go through that gel coat. You don't want to do that. Or scratch it. Don't want too rough a scotch brack. You'll scratch it up and make it ugly. It's a It's amazing how quick calcium. No, it's not calcium. Is it calcium? What are the deposits you get from water? Calcium is good for your bones, right? That's why I keep thinking that's wrong. Maybe it is calcium. It's good for your bones and looks ugly on your sink. You know, I said it all night last night over and over, and now I'm not sure what word I'm trying to say. Not. So. Whatever those deposits are that you get on your sink, besides rust, I mean, iron deposits. The other ones, the yellowy looking ones. Those are the ones I'm talking about. I'm going to uh, go ahead and quit the video. You don't have to come with me to put everything up, do you? You probably don't want to. I'll take go back in my room, take the camera in there and quit in there. Let's see. Yeah, I'll put the tools up later. Okay, so might as well uh, get the wiring. That's good to have with me. Oops. The longer I work, the louder I get because I forget that I gotta be quiet. I won't bother to plug that thing back up yet. Cameras and finish my video. Okay. Well, no, that wasn't that a lot of fun. And I think doing that must have took two or three times longer than fixing that other thing. Or about the same, you think? Mm. Hungry and thirsty now. Well, it's 5.15 a.m. Okay. Let's give my 
string one last check before I before I go ahead and actually go <coughs> and uh, just for the fun of it while I'm waiting I'll switch mics I, whenever I don't switch before I shut down then it gets me all out of kilter when I start uh, when I start and, uh, just for the fun of it while I'm waiting I'll switch mics I, whenever I don't switch before I shut down then it gets me that's all too loud okay Here we go. It's in 58, right? Okay. All right. So uh, I was hoping to get to work on the computer again tonight, but I'm tired now. I'm gonna eat. It's gonna be. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat my supper and rest after that. I may watch some more Beverly Hillbillies while I'm eating supper. I didn't get up a lot. You know, I didn't get up as early. I mean, I slept. What am I trying to say? I got up about 8 or, yeah, about 8 last night, so it's 5 in the morning. So it's not actually bedtime, but it's definitely, I'm, well, I'm just tired now after all that. So uh, I'll start winding down. I'm not going to, I didn't feel good. I didn't know if I was going to get to do it. I didn't feel good for a long time. I didn't know if I was going to get to finish this today. But uh, I did, so let's see. I think I'm done. As long as that thing don't fall off the wall, I think it'll, that, that sticky junk will stick it long enough. Uh that silicone to dry and it'll help hold it that stuff if it if it stays dry long enough too dry i'm just gonna get a bunch of water splashed back there and i mean it'll repel you know water won't get between those two unless it was drenched you know um like if you caulk your tub and then you take a we've done it over the years if you take a shower the same day like a few hours later like five hours later it's not good for it but it won't wash it all the way out of there either so but this, I'm trying to get it to act like glue. And I've, heck, that sink's glued down with, with I didn't have any liquid nails. So my liquid nails dried up, so I used to uh, use caulking. And uh, it, it, it's surprisingly good at gluing. <laughs> so, especially the silicone. Uh, it's better, I think, than the latex. So anyway, not my, depends on what you're trying to do. Uh, sometimes it's better than uh, liquid nails because liquid nails is real hard and it doesn't squish down good, you know. Liquid nails really can be, like if you're putting up paneling, it'll leave ripples in your paneling and stuff. There's times when, well, it depends on which, I guess, which brand you got and how old it is. If you try to use it when it's too old, especially, it, it won't give. Brand new tube, the last time I bought a brand new tube, it was really soft and easy to squish. Maybe there's different uh, thicknesses, uh, densities of it or something, and I never paid attention. Anyway. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna go clean up all my mess and eat some supper or some breakfast or whatever. All right, eat my chicken dinner. That's what it's gonna be. All right, bye bye.